Cow comfort is a key part of herd management, particularly within the housed environment. Dairy cows need to lie down for large parts of the day in order to remain healthy and productive. And to do this, they need a comfortable lying area. Research shows that cows will spend longer lying down when they are given a more comfortable bed. Longer lying times means reduced stress, improved foot health and increased milk yields. There is evidence that cows can produce up to an extra two litres of milk per day for each additional hour they spend lying down. A cow's lying behaviour is influenced by many factors. Those relating to the cow herself, such as her age, stage of lactation and health, and those relating to her management and housing. This film focuses on the impact of management and housing on the cow's lying times. We will cover four key considerations for managing cow lying comfort for optimum herd health and production. The quality of the lying surface, the amount of space each cow has for lying down and getting up, the stocking rate of the lying area, and the amount of time available within the day for lying down. We also suggest a few simple checks to assess your cow's lying comfort in each of these respects. The quality of the lying surface is one of the most important factors influencing the cow's lying comfort. And cows will spend longer lying down when their bed is soft, well cushioned and dry. This can be checked using the kneel and knuckle test. Drop your knees on the lying area and brush your knuckle over the surface. If the surface is sufficiently soft, well cushioned and dry, this will not hurt your knees or knuckles and your knees will not get wet. Well maintained, deep bedded lying areas such as sand or straw or sawdust are particularly effective in encouraging long lying times. And studies have shown that the use of deep bedding often increases lying time by up to two hours a day. The quality of the lying surface can also be checked by scoring the cows for hair loss, lesions, swellings and cleanliness. Look out for swellings on knees and hocks and soiling on flanks and udders. If the lying surface is soft, well cushioned and dry, these are less likely to be seen. Resources to assist with this can be found on the AHDB Dairy website. We also know that cows will spend longer lying down and are able to lie down and rise more easily when they have a more spacious lying area. So a second useful consideration is whether the lying area provide sufficient space for the cow to lie down and rise easily. In cubicle systems, some key dimensions to consider are the width of the cubicle, the length of the cubicle bed, and the amount of space in front of the bed for lunging forward to rise. Recommended dimensions will depend, of course, upon both the size of your cows and the design of your cubicles, such as whether they are open or closed fronted, or head to head. And more specific information on this can be found in Chapter 7 of the AHDB Dairy Housing Guide. In deep litter systems, recommended space allowances also depend upon the size of the cow and her level of production. Seven and a half square metres of lying space is generally recommended for a 750 kilogram cow. More space may be recommended if the lying area has reduced access points or cows are heavy in calf. In addition to measuring the dimensions of the cow's lying area, it may be helpful to observe the cow's lying and rising behaviour. She should be able to lie down and rise unhindered or adjustments may need to be made. The lying area should allow the cow to lie down comfortably in a number of different positions. For example, it should be wide enough to allow the cow to recline slightly to her side and rest her head back against her flank. It should be long enough to allow the cow to lie straight and she should be able to stretch her foreleg out in front of her comfortably over the brisket board if it's there. There should also be enough space in front of the cow to allow her to lunge forward and rise normally. A cow will normally rise in one smooth movement, lunging forwards by 70 to 100 centimetres to transfer her weight onto her forequarters, stand on her hind legs before stepping one front leg forwards. 
there should be enough space in front of the cow to allow her to both lunge and step forwards without impacting with the cubicle. Stocking rate in the lying area also impacts on lying times. Studies suggest that overstocking can reduce cubicle lying times by anything between 30 minutes and two hours per day. With this in mind, does the lying area allow all the cows to lie down at the same time? In cubicle systems, therefore, aim to provide one usable cubicle per cow. An additional 5% is often recommended. In deep litter yard systems, the lying area should be stocked in light of the recommended space allowance per cow. Finally, it is important to consider the amount of time cows have available within their daily routine for lying down. Research suggests that house cows will lie down for 12 to 14 hours a day if they are able to. Consider the amount of time the cows are away from the lying area for milking and other events such as AI. One study has found that lying time increased by two hours a day when milking time was reduced from six to three hours. When looking at the cow's daily time budget, consider that when housed, cows will spend around three to five hours feeding, half an hour drinking, and around two to three hours on other activities such as standing, walking, socializing, and grooming. Also consider the time she spends away from the bed for milking. Ideally, cows should have at least 12 to 14 hours left for lying down. As a result of the growing interest in cow lying behaviour, technology is now available allowing the automatic recording of individual cows lying behaviour by the use of electronic data loggers. In summary, the four key considerations for managing cow lying comfort are Cows lying surfaces should be soft, well cushioned and dry. Areas should provide enough space for lying down and getting up. The stocking rate should allow all cows to lie down at the same time. And finally, the cow's daily routine allows them to spend around 12 to 14 hours lying down. The checks suggested in this film can help make informed decisions about your cow's lying comfort and where improvements might be made. Often lying comfort can be improved by making very small and simple adjustments to housing and management. Such improvements are likely to be worthwhile. Experience from the US indicates that simple adjustments to cubicle dimensions or the use of deep bedding can increase milk production by between 850 and 2200 litres per cow. So, a more comfortable lying area encourages cows to lie down for as long as they need to and this helps support the overall health, welfare and productivity of the herd.